Fed up HOAs are turning to a local private investigator for help. He is being hired to catch homeowners who are violating their HOA rules by renting out their homes on websites like Airbnb. Team 10 investigative reporter Jennifer Kastner has the exclusive interview with this private investigator. Interesting, Jennifer. Yeah, and it was really interesting talking to him about this work. He's been doing private investigations for more than a decade, but this is his first time investigating short term rental hosts. As far as we know, he's the only PI in San Diego doing this. He won't tell us much about how it works, but he admits he's already had some success. I admittedly watched a lot of Magnum PI growing up. He's a professional private eye who feels right at home with his new project. Word is getting out that this is being done. Nick Bradley of Bradley Investigative yeah, Services gave 10 News an exclusive interview about San Diego's emerging field of detective work. We have, first of all, the, the assignment broken down. For the last six months, he and his associates have been hired by HOAs to catch homeowners who are using sites such as Airbnb, Craigslist, and VRBO to rent out their homes, homes that are not allowed to be rented out, according to HOA rules. Do you ever pose as a guest and do you do surveillance work? Um, no comment. I, my initial thought was laughing. Laughing at the extreme of HOAs resorting to private investigators. But attorney Dan Zimberoff says he understands why there's so much passion over short term rentals or STRs. I think what makes this issue a little bit different than a lot of others, you know, parking, uh, pet poop and such is the dollars at stake, especially in San Diego when you have some of these units that can go for multiple hundreds of dollars a night, you know, thousands of dollars. People care. San Diego is the second ranking city in the state for Airbnb guests, according to its spokespeople. The newest numbers from 2017 show there were 537,000 guest arrivals in the city, totaling $100 million in host income. Because right now it's too lucrative for them to not do this. The STR fight in America's finest city continues to be ugly and without resolution. The city attorney deemed them illegal, yet the city council is delaying talks about how to regulate them. Even so, certain HOAs have clear cut rules prohibiting them with astronomical fines for violators. You know, $10,000 per occurrence in some situations. And court is another option. A few years ago, the upscale Mark downtown filed a lawsuit against one of its former condo owners, Thomas Stevens. Stevens continues to rent the subject property for terms of less than 90 days and to advertise the subject property for rent on a nightly and monthly basis. He then had to pay more than $100,000 after a judge ruled he violated the building's regulations. How widespread is the problem that you've seen through your investigative it, work? Very widespread. Fed up HOAs are cracking down. Bradley won't give us details about how he investigates, but when he's done, he hands off the findings to the HOAs. When they go to court, you know, my documentation, my reporting will, will basically count as expert witness testimony for our side. Zimbaroff thinks it's time for HOAs to consider allowing STRs, but with reasonable and efficient regulations to curb nuisances like excessive partying. Instead of spending that energy and trying to catch that one homeowner, um, let's work together at a solution because that's not that's not a long term fix. That's just a short term. Oh, we got gotcha. you. Tonight, I talked to a spokesperson for Airbnb. The company urges potential hosts to understand and follow HOA and leasing rules. It has plenty of resources on its website to learn about the current laws and regulations in the city of San Diego. Jennifer Kastner, 10 News.